What's up guys, Shoney Dogs here, and if you didn't know, the reward for getting to Master Prestige 16 is you unlock the nuke variant for the Hornet Pistol, the classic weapon, and this thing is basically just the Glock 18 from MW2, and I was really, really surprised. I thought I was going to be handicapped severely using a pistol, and that just wasn't the case. The fire rate is just amazing, and it can drop people really quick like i'd say almost as fast as a k-bar now obviously there is a little bit of a handicap you got to be within like 20 feet or you're not going to hit anything this thing does have a lot of recoil it's very difficult to control now you're probably thinking sean what the fuck are you doing this is hardcore you don't play hardcore that's not how you get nukes well you're right i was playing a lot of hardcore trying to rank up during double xp weekend and I prestiged and decided, you know what, let me just go for this for one game, see what happens, and I completely failed. I wasn't aware that I was going to run out of ammo so quickly, especially because it's hardcore. I didn't have rewind, I didn't have scavenger, and right here you see I'm five kills away, and I ran out of ammo. Right about to get a nuke, I'm four kills off, and I have no ammo and no way to replace it. So I'm just like, okay, what do I do now? And I just ran around the map and died. Very disappointing, but it allowed me to use this bad boy in core. And I completely dominated on breakout. You saw that clip in the intro in core. There was a lot of that going on. A lot of people getting this shming ding. And it was honestly one of my best all around gameplays. Considering I'm using a silenced pistol on one of the biggest maps in the game, there was a lot of strategy involved, like jumping off the map like an idiot because you picked the wrong rig. It is fun pulling out the pistol every once in a while because you have to like completely change your playstyle. You can't challenge like 99% of the things that you usually would. I did try to push mid at the very beginning, but heard this guy behind me. And after that, it was pretty much all flank lanes, all tactical kills making sure that there was no one behind me I could clean up that one straggler on the edge of the map. And there were just a lot of straight up 1v1 gunfights that I managed to come out on top in. And I had to use like a very specific class setup. You see all those perks, I'm using five perks. I didn't even run a primary weapon, mainly because, I mean, I'm trying to get a pistol nuke. I'm not gonna get kills with that primary weapon anyway. So I was running dexterity, which I never run, because even with extended mags, this thing only has 30 bullets. So you will have to be doing a lot of reloading and dexterity just makes it so much faster. I was also using scavenger, even though I'm using rewind, I was mainly using that to save my life. You really do need scavenger no matter what on this gun. It just shoots way too fast for you to be able to conserve ammo. I died quite a bit at the beginning here. They kept throwing spider grenades, so I just stopped challenging mid altogether. I got chased by two of them right here, and I was just completely done, and I decided to go off. So if you happen to be Master Prestige 16, you've been grinding out this game like a madman, and you're trying to get this nuke, I'll put this class setup down below as the pinned comment, and while it is really good within 15 feet or so, I would not recommend using this thing at all if you're just trying to like have fun. The recoil will drive you insane. This thing is pretty much a shotgun the way that it kills close up, but you can't hit anything from afar. And I just wanted to remind you guys in case you forgot, the DLC 2 map pack comes out tonight. Technically it's Tuesday, but it drops at midnight. Don't unsubscribe, I will be uploading probably 10 to 20 videos tomorrow because I'm going to be playing zombies all day, getting the easter egg, showing you how to get the wonder weapon, how to upgrade everything, where's pack-a-punch, all the different parts, all that sort of good stuff. I always do that when the new DLCs come out. So even if you're a multiplayer guy, I would appreciate if you could leave a view so my stuff comes up in search so people can actually find it. And lastly, I just finished setting up a Patreon account. If you don't know what that is, it is basically a donations page because Twitch, you can donate to people, it has those tips, and YouTube has nothing. So just to put something into perspective, if every single one of my 10,000 subscribers decided to pledge $1, I would be able to do YouTube full time. So it really is a powerful tool. If you do enjoy my content, all donations are much appreciated. But anyways, that is going to wrap it up for this video. I'm going to let you guys enjoy this nice nuke with this silenced pistol. If you do enjoy, please be sure to drop a like, comment down below with any thoughts or questions you may have. And as always, subscribe to the channel if you are new, and I will see you in the next great video. Peace.
Friendly drone support is active. Entering airspace. 